Okay, there we go. This is Proteus. I got this... I, I was looking for like these really chill games on the Steam store, and this is one of the games that I found. I was like, hey, sure, okay. Mainly I was asking around on like Reddit and stuff, like where I could find a like really chill game. Just because I wanted something that I could play and not have to think too much about. And this is, no, it's, a, it, it's said to have like these really nice views and stuff, while also having a really retro atmosphere. And so far, I'm, yes, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is pretty nice. But if I look over here, <laughs> you can see, hold on, hold on, look, nice and smooth, 60 frames, oh, crawling it at 10 frames per second. Other than that, like, it looks really nice, and the music is really cool. What do you do in this game? It's just a chill thing. It's just exploration, really. There's nothing too special about it. What did I just do? I pressed Q. I did something, I think. Oh, Q is like an auto-walk. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep this on. Oh, I could just have it going like this. This could be a BRB screen if I wanted to. Whoa, what's this? I have no idea what these things are, but I, I want to catch one. Is this a new Pokemon? I want this Pokemon. Very badly. Are these, like, are these tombstones? Like, they, they look like tombstones. They might just be rocks, but I don't know. This game looks pretty nice. Like, the graphics, it's ridiculously low poly. I mean, the trees... Uh, the trees are rendered the same way flowers would be in Minecraft. It's two sprites, just intertwined or like uh, parallel to each other but it's it is quite nice I like this What's... space owls oh what the hell are those what that looks huge it is huge probably bigger than me Jesus just look at me all funny Wow this is nice. Like, let's look at this. I'm just gonna quickly... There we go. Is that a massive fog cloud? Oh my god, that's a rain cloud. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I love that. Another screenshot. What are these? My ducks? Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> the noises! I got like cool 8 bit. <laughs> 8 bit chirps. Every footstep sounds like they're from Scooby Doo. Oh my god, I, I love that. That's probably my favorite part of this game right now. 10 out of 10 for those ducks. I've just been very chill today. Like, um, I was playing with a friend earlier today, and I was, like, I was, I was playing games which would normally make me yell a little bit on occasion for a funny moment or something, but no, I was just too chill today. Am I above the clouds? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. The, this. Just a big old yes. Now this game isn't free, but like I'm not I'm not mad that I spent money on this. Like this is actually pretty decent. It's not one of those games where it's like bang for your buck or anything like that, but it is it's just a really, really nice game to play. I am enjoying this a lot. You like spawn off in the water or something, like a couple uh about couple meters away from the coast. Like, it's such a simplistic thing to do with water, but it, it's genius, because, like, you'd think you'd want to be making sprites for uh, ripples or something in the water. Nah, nah. You just do this. This works just fine. And it's pretty easily rendered. I gotta play this more often on stream. Jesus. And there I was. The, like, the main reason I was decided to stream this was because, you know, I've had it for a while and I wanted to record it. Or live stream or something I thought if I record it and it's not actually that good I'll have like it'll be a waste of time recording so like why bother but this 
Like, this is well worth it. I could play this for the next hour or so. Look how massive the stars are. Whoa! That is... a very unusual size for stars to be. Okay, if I if I ever like unironically start an ASMR channel or something, this is this is what I'm gonna have is background footage. Just random clips from this stream, that's all I'm gonna use. If I run out of clips there, I'll just record this game more. There's these things, they're flying away, you can you just wanna follow them. Even though you know they're probably nothing, but Whoa, what What the fuck? Oh, it's like a circle I'm stuck in. I don't know what that was, but it was awesome. <laughs> there's like new sounds, there's new music, everything looks different too. What are these? I don't even know what these are, but I love them. What is this? What are you? Why do you jump so far? These mushrooms? What are these? Is it, is it those corn dogs on a stick? It is. This is this kind of thing I I don't need to speak. I could just mute my microphone and we could just leave this playing. Is those those new things as well? Looks like this path I don't remember. I'm gonna follow the path perfectly in Australia, of course. See, when things get really peaceful, I start being like really obedient as well. Like I stick to paths I don't even need to stick to. So like I get like at first you'd probably be. A little unimpressed or confused or whatever, but if you just keep walking through it, just press on, you know? Not without any particular goals, like even just something as simple as following a path, you don't even have to think about it. Keep following. It's... you, you really learn to enjoy it. Alright, I want to see. Yeah, because you have the magic things here, so I think... It's happening again. Oh boy, we're traveling across time and space again. Shooting stars! I saw a load of them. Oh my god. Yeah, I think the game waits until it knows you've gone all around the island. And then it allows you to move on. So yeah, it, it is pretty much exploration game. Explore to continue, explore to advance. Explore to find out these cool secrets and figure out the game. Remember when I, um, remember my initial reaction to Unturned's new Russia map when that came out and we like immediately hopped on it? My reaction, I, I kept on saying it's so beautiful, it looks so nice. I could say all the same about this. And when you see these little shiny things, you want to follow them. I want to see what this is about. Hello, what are you? You just like flashbang me? Okay. Whoa, what? This is weird. You know, it's more eerie now, almost. See, okay, let me explain this. When I first came in, it kind of looked like a kind of natural spring looking land almost. Um, after I went through the first time, when, well, after the first time I went into that little circle, it kind of looked all summery almost. Um, third, uh, the second time I went in, which was earlier, it was kind of more awesome looking. I think this is more the winter version. The trees are slightly off-putting though, that's my only thing. With the dead trees, I'm thinking the game is saying, you're gonna die, but remember, that's later. Do what you want now, you don't have infinite amounts of time, but you still have enough. That, that was deep. 
<laughs> I I'll agree with you there. That that was pretty deep. Wow. I'll admit the music right about now could have been a bit better, but am I? Whoa! What? Whoa! What? What? Am I? I'm floating above the clouds. Okay. Yeah. Cheap. I think you're dead right with your message. I think there is a message trying to be sent here. Is this how the game ends? It's just like more things just keep on happening. Wait a minute. Everything's disappeared. I can't I can't see anything anymore. Just Oh, 